Can, can you dive a little bit deeper into the redevelopment of downtown? You know, I, I don't know much about it. I'm sure a lot of our listeners not from the area don't know much about it. So can you give us the, the two minute rundown of all, all the goodness happening down there? Yeah. So, um, boy, I'd say just over the last 10 years, I've seen Aurora um, take off. And I, I shouldn't even say take off. I'll say slowly develop. And um, a lot of that has come from um, an efforts from the city, um, partially buying back some buildings after, um, you know, 2010 and the collapse. And um, Aurora has an economic development arm called Invest Aurora, which is quite active in um, promoting the development of downtown Aurora, which is very helpful. So, you know, if we look at just over the last 10 years, not even the last 10 years, but for those of you that, that live in the Chicagoland area, if you haven't visited River Edge Park yet, um, which is right off of Route 25, just north of downtown. Um, it's like a mini Ravinia. It's even better, in my opinion, because it's right off the Fox River, awesome sunsets. Unfortunately, closed this year because of COVID, but fantastic. And because of that, and because of that um, development, uh, the city is also just finishing up on a three-year project where there's a pedestrian bridge connecting the east side to the west side by the old police office, which was torn down. And there's going to be all sorts of opportunity right along the west side of the river now for you know R5 zoning or, or ultimately some multifamily housing um, for developers in, in that you know neck of the woods. Um, I mean, outside of that, there's been big developers like Karadimus that have come down from Milwaukee. They renovated a lot of the old apartment buildings, the Leland Hotel from 1927. Um, he did a ton of work to that, got rents up. There's a few other buildings he's bought where he's bought them, put rent, gotten rents up. And really the only, the only drawback I've seen behind that is that I feel like there needs to be more business that needs to come in alongside of that. It's kind of like bring the people and they will come, right? Now bring them downtown to live here and, and everything will come. And I, I, I'm of the opinion where it's gotta be, there's gotta be some balance to that to some degree. Um, boy, at the same time, I mean, there's that opportunity zone, right, that touches downtown Aurora. There's TIF districts that go right up and down the downtown area. Um, and then Invest Aurora offers, you know, some different programs. I'll just touch on real briefly, and you can check out their website for more information. But there's a community development assistance program. There's, you know, TIF financing. There's the River Edge redevelopment zone, which is kind of what I was talking about with the bridge and the park. And then there's parts of downtown Aurora that qualify for, for tax credits. Uh, what could be up to 20% um, by through renovations. So, um, you know, it's all some, some pretty cool stuff. And then, you know, the last, the last two things I wanted to touch on when it comes to downtown, and then I'll be quiet, <laughs> is um, there's a really great nonprofit in downtown Aurora focused on um, low, to minute, low to moderate income home buyers, helping them become home buyers, and that's called the Neighbor Project. Um, it actually was previously known as the Joseph Corporation, if you've heard of it before, but in essence, they help a lot of the folks that have been renting for years in the greater Aurora area go through that first time home buyer process, become buyers. So that's kind of exciting stuff. And then um, there's a uh, 605 innovation district that has been launched to some degree where ultimately there's an innovation arm of the city that is trying to bring you know, fiber networks and innovative small businesses to downtown Aurora to redevelopment, to redevelop that, that small business innovation arm uh, to really help things get going. But, you know, the way I look at downtown Aurora now is you've got, you've got the Paramount Theater, you've got a ton of great restaurants that are all, you know, suffering to some degree because of COVID, but um, it's really more of an arts town than anything else. Um, lots of great arts. Uh, we just need the, the business end of that to, to balance things out to some degree, and, and it'll be, it'll be fantastic. 